All right, guys, so I'm going to talk about harnesses. Uh, this is how I prefer to use my harness. It comes out of the bag. And it's kind of in a in a mess, so you kind of go which is up, which is down. The easiest thing is to grab hold of the uh, back hook. That's your back hook. There's a full arrest harness uh, lanyard that goes on the back, like so. And the whole reason for this is uh, when you do fall, this thing opens up and it's a shock absorber. Um, it kind of works, but I don't really want to test it. Most of the situations we work with, uh, we're not trying to prevent a fall arrest because we don't really want to fall. We just uh, want to restrain ourselves so we don't fall. So I don't often use this because I don't really trust that for whatever reason, it's just me. So that goes away. Uh, all I've got is the harness. So you hold it like this, that's the back, that's the front. All right. So you wear it like a shirt, so you hold it like this. This goes this way, this goes that way. Like that. This comes around. Like that. And it hooks onto that buckle. Like so. So the same with the other side. Just like this. Give it a bit of a tuck. That's uncomfortable. The last one goes across the chest. There we go. You see? So, harness is done. Now, where do you hook on? The traditional way is you hook onto the back, which means that you've got a harness that you, uh, you can't really hang on to because it's at your back. Uh, my preference is because I'm not using the uh, fall arrest lanyard, I hook straight onto the front. There's usually a hook on the front of the harness. Carabiner goes up like that. Now, the advantage in doing it this way is that everything's in front of you because the, the most common use of a harness is on a steep roof like this you want to be able to walk up and down the roof so it's easy to be like that right? and when you screw a roof off you've got weight on your roof right? and, holding, and so you've got two hands free you've got the full weight you can put your screw down in so that's the ideal way of harnessing uh, off a roof uh, I just don't like using the back because it's for me, it's pretty useful. So we go up and down the roof. There you go. Okay. Same thing. You can see this roof is quite slippery. So, and that's why, for me, it's more practical to have the harness point at the front of the harness rather than the back of the harness. So that's just me. You guys might have some other. Uh, smart ways of using the harness, uh, but that's my preference.